Have you ever wondered what would happen if we poured water on the sun? It sounds simple. Fire plus water equals problem solved, right? That's how it works on Earth. But the sun is not a campfire. It's something far more extreme. Now imagine this. You're floating in space. A massive spacecraft beside you. Inside it, an endless tank of water. You turn the valve and release the water toward the sun. But something strange happens. The water never reaches the surface, not even close. Before it can touch the sun, the water disappears. Not slowly, not dramatically, instantly. The sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. At that heat, water doesn't just boil. It doesn't even become steam. The molecules are ripped apart. Hydrogen and oxygen split instantly. The atoms themselves are torn into charged particles. The water turns into plasma. And here's the shocking part. The sun doesn't notice. Every single second, the sun converts 4 million tons of matter into energy. It releases more power in one second than humanity has used in all of history. Compared to that, even all the water on Earth is meaningless. But what if we poured all the oceans at once? Still nothing. The sun wouldn't cool down. It wouldn't dim. It wouldn't react. Because the sun is not burning like fire. Fire needs oxygen. Fire can be put out. The sun doesn't burn. It performs nuclear fusion. Deep in its core, hydrogen atoms are forced together under unimaginable pressure. When they fuse, they release energy. That process does not care about water. It does not stop for liquids. It cannot be drowned. And here's the ultimate irony. When water is destroyed near the sun, it releases hydrogen. Hydrogen is the sun's fuel. So instead of stopping the sun, you'd actually be feeding it. Pouring water on the sun wouldn't save us. It wouldn't change anything. The water would vanish. The sun would shine, unbothered, unchanged, unstoppable. So the next time someone says, why don't we just cool the sun down? Remember this, you can't put out a star.